What's up, folks? I'm back with another reaction. Back with some more Yazoo. Uh, we're back to continue our journey through the all too short uh, Yazoo catalog. I did finish my uh, reaction going through the Upstairs at Eric's album, um, and I really enjoyed the last tune. It was absolutely fantastic. Um, check that out if you're interested. But yeah, we're going back to their second album, 1983, uh, You and Me Both. Um, I've talked about sort of the context of the album in a number of videos, um, so I don't want to repeat myself every video, because I feel like some of the people, you know, will have seen all of those videos. So um, go check the earlier ones, or, you know, go check online if you're interested about sort of the history of the band and the way it sort of came apart, like, personally um, and professionally at this point, even if the music was still fantastic. So, uh, yeah, we're going to listen to Ode to Boy. Um, interesting title, you know, I'm curious by the way it's phrased, it's not Ode to a Boy or Ode to the Boy, it's just Ode to Boy, um, which seems like either odd syntax or, um, you know, a very specific phrase uh, within a larger motif, so we'll have to see, um, but interested to hear the sonics, um, you know, uh, the combination of Vince Clark's uh, production and Alison Moyet's singing just you know, a number of people have commented on it recently, um, you know, not just me, not just um, a friend of the channel, uh, Han Solo, but a couple other people have said, you know, it's just this, like, one-off magic, like, it's, you know, there are very few groups, and I mentioned, oh, you know, maybe the Eurythmics, and, you know, Han Solo was, I think, rightfully saying, it's like, you know, they were cool, but it was a different flavor, you know, it's like, Yazoo had their own flavor, and it was just this, you know, lightning in a bottle sort of thing that, unfortunately, uh, came to an end far too soon. Uh, but yeah, let's get to it. This is Ode to Boy on Yazoo's album You and Me Both, uh, 1983. Like the echoed kind of like jazz snare. It's like you're hitting like the side of the drum. Oh wow. Cascades down some stairs. I love this. Who knows that watching from behind? Times of love flickers in his eyes. Times direct when he speaks. You are watching his lips. He drives our love to watch his hands. Smooth, almost feminine, almost American. Like, I have to focus on the words because her voice just like it raptures my brain. And everything he seems to do reflects just another shade of blue. I saw oh, it's got like you a jazzy spoken word quality to it. His fingers stroke its dim past to lift a cigarette at last. It dries his eyes. Who wrote the show by his tail? I watch as he weeps and wail. The time and awe of his despair. Sends on you with exaggeration on the truth. You caught me looking then with so eyes I'm amazed at their music. And everything he seems to do reflects just another shade of blue. I saw him searching into the does reflect another shade of blue. Sort of a callback to Mr. Blue. whipped it up into such a like a synth sugar that it doesn't even sound like a vocal anymore. It's an austere like mystery to the tune. I 
fully believe it will end or kick back in again. I'm leaning toward end, but... Okay, it is fading. No? It is, right? Yeah, it's fading. <sighs> Kept me guessing right to the end there. That's amazing. And again, has a very experimental, risk-taking, um, you know, not-by-the-numbers sort of uh, feel that really... Um, both in terms of its atmosphere, its rhythm, the rhythm in which she sung her lines, um, the subject matter. I mean, I, I have to hear some of those lines again, but there was a lot going on there. And the way she was talking about this person, a man seemingly, um, I just, yeah, I, I'm blown away. And I'm curious which one of the two wrote it. Um, for some reason, I want to say maybe that's a Moyette song. Uh, please do correct me if I'm wrong, but, um, or maybe one of the ones they, they penned together. Um, but yeah, that's crazy. Uh, definitely got to let that bake into my brain a few more times, but let me know what you think. Let me know if you enjoyed the Sonics and or her singing, uh, both, uh, presumably. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you think. Other than that, have a good day, have a good night. See you next time.